Hi, this is Mark Fleming, and welcome to CDOC's Tip of the Day. You know, sometimes we're presented with some interesting proposals like this one here that was submitted to us. And there, I want to show you a couple of ways to go ahead and take care of this. Uh, all proposals are started at the margin. So I'm going to go back to this and remarginate here. So I'm going to get rid of the margin right off the bat. But how I'm going to marginate is I'm going to turn the model upside down so I can get a better look at the margin of this stock abutment. Uh, when things are really deep, this just gives you a different perspective of how the margin can be drawn here. So I'm going to go ahead and start drawing. I started with the magnetic or automatic right off the bat, and then I went ahead and switched to the manual mode to make it a little bit easier to go ahead and uh, uh, draw the margin. And like I said before, all proposals start at the margin and go uh, up from there in this case. So we went ahead and draw the margin and now we move on and go ahead to design and go ahead and get our proposal here. Now this proposal is going to take a little bit of a while because uh, it's not your regular type of proposal since it's on a stock abutment. But as you'll see here in the end, we get a much better situation to start with than uh, we had immediately with uh, when this was presented to us when it was all doubled over on top. So when you start looking at different things that may be giving you a strange, strange proposal, you may want to look at your margin. There may be some kinks in it or it's diving down a microscopic hole. As I say, it's gone down the rabbit hole and redraw the margin. Just don't do it in bits and pieces, but reset the whole thing. And a lot of times you'll be able to go ahead and get a better proposal right off the bat. So I hope you've enjoyed this tip. And for further tips, come on over and visit us at cdocs.com. Thanks.